I've been dealing with Space Marines a lot lately. I finished a couple of my forgotten units, which needed a touch of the all wash. I finally painted my Nyar Storm Cooler miniature, and I also found courage to tackle some Thousand Suns again, which is always quite a project in itself. I was inspired by an Instagram post I sadly couldn't find again, which displayed an awesome knight miniature with breathtaking freehand details and heraldry on its shield. I immediately started to search for ways to recreate this myself, and as the Dark Angels are on their march at the moment, it felt appropriate to give the medieval knightly inspired Space Marines a go. I kept the base quite simple. I started by putting texture paste all over it, this will act as a base and also as a way to effectively stick the larger rocks to the base plate. I then cut some balsa wood into planks and put them in place using some PVA glue. I later also used the super glue on top to bind them all together and reinforce the overall structure. I sadly didn't film the conversion process, but I essentially tore another old unused primaris intercessor apart, reposed him and used some assault intercessor bits to kit him out appropriately. I green staffed a cape and a hood and threw some more trinkets and relics on his waist and back. I gave a miniature the black spray and a couple of green dry brushes. I used a mix of mood green and abaddon black. This is where I decided to actually film the process, so let's continue together now. I began by base coating the cloak with Vallejo khaki. I diluted it with a bit of thin water and went in for a second coat when the first one dried. I later retouched the Aquila with a dark and tan and then highlighted it with the same khaki color as before. This created some depth and detail. I base coated the purity seal, the ropes and drew some markings with a mix of Mephiston red and Abaddon black from Citadel. I then proceeded to highlight those areas with progressively lighter shades of red. I picked out the metallic areas with teeny tin from Vallejo and then painted over some with Retributor armor from Citadel. I prepared my transfers. I used decal fix from Vallejo and applied it to the surface before sliding the decal in place. I then used a decal softener, brushing it over the transfer and then poking it at in until it laid flat with the curved surface of the shoulder pad. I followed the same steps for the rest of the decals. I have never gotten any Dark Angels symbol transfer, so I had to freehand this one. This was becoming impossible to film, so I stopped the recording and focused on not messing up. I first did it in khaki and then retouched it with an off-white. I then varnished the miniature to protect it and covered it in enamels. This one specifically is from AK Interactive and it is called Streaky Grime for Dark Vehicles. It has a grey to greenish tone which is perfect for this case. There are a lot of different enamel washes out there but you can achieve the same effect but mixing, by mixing some oil paints with an oil thinner. That is what I'll still use for my forgotten marines. I cleaned the miniature and covered the base in pigments and this is how it turned out. And that's my take on Dark Angels. What do you think? I find it quite awesome actually, one of my favorite miniatures I have ever built and painted. So, I have been really enjoying painting different Space Marine chapters and I'm quite inspired to do more. 
Go down below in the comments and suggest which one do you think I should paint next. Although my plan was to refocus on my forgotten minis for a bit, it wouldn't hurt to give my colorful boys some company. Thanks for watching everyone and thank you a lot for the support. We're very close to 500 subscribers, which is a milestone I never imagined to achieve. So thanks for being a part of my community, for watching and sharing my work and for being patient and supporting. I'll see you soon. Have a good one.